welcome to the channel today I'm gonna react to this article from the RT website and uh, and other articles uh, about the same topic so you you, you should have noticed that uh, despite the drop in oil and gas prices the price of petrol at the pump hasn't fallen in line and energy bills have not dropped for months um, let's see what the article says here um, so Thankfully, the past months have seen prices gradually reduce in both diesel and petrol, although diesel is still about 30% higher than this time last year. So, uh, if you follow the, the stock market, uh, um, you, you should have seen gas and oil uh, drop a lot uh, recently. Um, now, uh, you you also aware that uh, there's been a lot of speculation because of COVID, because the uh, war in Ukraine, uh, and uh, this has caused like um, you know uh, prices of gas and, and oil to skyrocket, especially gas. So most of these governments in Europe have um, started reducing the uh, excise duty on the on the petrol when I think it, it hit over. To euro per liter in uh, in uh, most of Europe, and um, now there's been a few positive developments, like the absolute mild weather that we got in, especially in uh, Central and Southern Europe. I, I have seen even uh, 20, 30 degrees uh, at the end of October, um, so that helped a lot. Um, and um, it seems like you know the economy is slowing down as well so um, the forecast uh, is then for a reduction in uh, uh, in um, demand for petrol and oil um, but um, we don't really seem to see any any change like uh, in the bills like um, uh, why, why is that um, yeah also another another thing that uh, this article mentions the um the if you remember during covid uh, moving goods uh, especially from china was very expensive like i think it uh, uh, the cost uh, uh, really skyrocketed so that cost is also going down so we see a, lo a lot of positive news for uh, definitely consumers um, I want to show you also this article, no drop in energy bills for months. So again, uh, this is a disappointment because yearly cost of electricity for a typical household is now 2,000 euros, I think is, is a bit more than that. Uh, and it used to be, uh, before COVID, I remember it used to be about 1,300. Uh, so big jump for sure. Um, but uh, these companies are definitely not rushing to reduce the prices um, the um, of course yeah I am aware that the contracts that they signed uh, you know are, are not so flexible so you know uh, you don't really uh, see the savings straight away you need to wait uh, for a while but uh, they're really usually fast to raise prices but not so fast to drop them you know um, so um, what what, uh, what what basically adds to the price of uh, these price increases. Um, from the Citizen Information website, we see that budget 2023 shows that the carbon tax will increase by uh, 7.50 per ton of carbon uh, dioxide emitted. So there is still, even um, if prices are very high and uh, uh, there's no need for additional taxes, I think we, we all agree that there's enough taxes in Ireland, but uh, it's still from the 12th of October last year, uh, there's still um, an increase in carbon tax. I know they'll give you back uh, 200 euros uh, uh, temporarily uh, to help you with, with, with the bills. But um, when, when they say temporary, uh, it, it's like probably going to be the last year we, we're going to see those uh, uh, 200 euros. Um, and uh, and uh, the carbon tax keeps rising, so... Don't expect this situation to improve like in the future actually is, is going to get worse because once this uh, uh, government help is gone, um, they, they, they have the plan to raise this tax because they want to encourage uh, people not to drive cars or consume less energy, energy in the, um, for heating and uh, all the other needs. So um, 
what what are the actions uh, you can make um, in this situation? Um, I I really like this article here. Consumer pay high price for not pulling the plug on energy suppliers. Um, I know switching is a bit of a pain. You know, there's a, there's a bit of bureaucracy and uh, you know um, waste of time, but. Uh, um, if someone at least to us the, the first time we pointed out the savings that can be made by shopping around for the best energy provider and the city follow our advice then they would have saved more than 6,000 euros by now that's uh, uh, an incredible um, figure uh, from the Irish Times um, unfortunately loyalty is not rewarded in this world so uh, stick with the same provider doesn't, doesn't actually uh, help so um, I think it should be uh, rewarded, but it's not in this world. So, uh, look, you need to consider every time um, your contract is uh, expiring, um, you, you need to consider switching for any any product that uh, uh, any energy would be mobile, would be uh, broadband, uh, and all the other TV, all the other services. And um, that, that that's really figures. You know, it's not just. Uh, an assumption. Um, so you are definitely uh, spending a lot more if you're not switching. So to conclude this video, I think um, Dolphin Utilities is a great website. Uh, uh, it gives you a free service. You can switch uh, energy provider and uh, get better deals. They do everything for you. And um, I would consider also uh, installing solar panels and Dolphin helps you with that as well, you know. So invest in your uh, in energy efficiency if you can, you know, because um, with inflation, with uh, uh, this kind of market and taxes going up, uh, it, it is worth it, is worth the spend, is worth investment. Uh, so um, don't uh, don't be lazy and just switch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to receive more informative and helpful responses, consider subscribing to our channel. You'll get notified of our latest updates and can learn something new every day. Click the subscribe button now and join our community.